What time do you think we should go pick up the boys? I don't know. What time do you want to pick them up? Justice and Zion stayed the night at their grandparents' house, so Monet and I, we woke up kidless. It feels nice to have a leisure morning, but also it kind of feels wrong, or not wrong, but just weird, different. about not having the kids. I feel a little sad, but yeah. it's fun. It's nice, you got to sleep in, so. That is nice. Yeah. Do now? I don't know. What should we do? Should we go get the go get the boys, um, or do you want to not get them? I think they're going on a walk. Not yet. Okay. All right. <laughs> afford this anyways. This is like a hobby of ours. We like to look at houses that we can't buy. What time do you think we should go Pick up the boys. I don't know. What time do you want to pick them up? <laughs> Welcome to day 252 in the vlog, and we are finishing the book of Zechariah by covering chapters 8 through 14. There are just four passages I want to draw your attention to in today's reading as we've covered these seven chapters. Chapter 9, verse 9. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout aloud, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, your king is coming to you. Righteous and having salvation is he, humbled and mounted on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. Chapter 11, verse 12 through 13. Then I said to them, If it seems good to you, give me my wages. But if not, keep them. And they weighed out as my wages 30 pieces of silver. Then the Lord said to me, Throw it to the potter, the, lo the lordy price at which I was priced by them. So I took the 30 pieces of silver and threw them into the house of the Lord to the potter. 12.10 And I will pour out on the house of David and the inhabitants of Jerusalem a spirit of grace and pleas for mercy, so that when they look on me, on him whom they have pierced, they shall mourn for him as one mourns for an only child, and weep bitterly over him as one weeps over a firstborn. And then 13, 7. Awake, O sword, against my shepherd, against the man who stands next to me, declares the Lord of hosts. Strike the shepherd, and the shepherd will be scattered, and I will turn my hand against the little ones. Just in today's reading, we see four passages that clearly point to the coming Messiah that was gonna come very soon for God's people. And for today, I really just wanted to reiterate what we talked about yesterday. This last half of Zechariah, God is continuously showing him the prosperity that he's going to bring them. But once again, it's wrapped up in Jesus, that 
prosperity, true prosperity, is not having a lot of material stuff, but it's about having Jesus. And it's just cool to see all these messianic prophecies in our reading for today. And it's just a really good reminder, a very simple and quick reminder that it's all about Jesus, that we point to Jesus, and that it's in Christ that we find our ultimate prosperity. So we decided that we should go pick up our kids. Yeah, it's probably about time. Yeah, we thought about letting them stay another night. Yeah. But. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. We do love our children. <laughs> we missed them. Yeah, we did. Go? You wanna go? Yeah.